Our friends at Roger Williams Park Zoo are known as the place to go for family fun, from giraffes and emus to ant eaters and red pandas, and now they've welcomed two new additions to the zoo. It's not your turn. I'll get your turn in a minute. Joining me this morning to tell us more is Jen Caro and Sarah Olson, along with their chickens. So good morning to both of you. We're going to meet the chickens in a minute, but Jen, first want to talk about zoo camp. Summer just around the corner. Got to get those kids involved in something, right? So talk about, hey. <laughs> Zip it. What's zoo camp? Um, we have zoo camps actually for children ages four all the way up until grades twelve. Okay. Um, so in the summer we start with Tadpole Academy, Summer Adventures, Natural Navigators, and Adventurous Travels. How do people get involved in that camp? How do they sign up? Is your website involved? Yeah. Yep. Go right to our website rwpzoo.org and they can register right online. Rwpzoo.org. Okay. Uh, Sarah, introduce us to your new additions here. This is Lucille this is and Lucille. Lindsay, right? Yeah. Who's the loud one? This is Lucille. Yeah. She's very noisy today. <laughs> what makes these chickens special? They're actually they're part of our education animal collection. So these chickens come to our um, zoo camp. And we actually, these are two different breeds. Um, this is a Dominique chicken that I have here, Lindsay, and a Partridge Rock, which is Lucille. And they were both um, developed right here in New England um, back in the 19th century. Uh, and so, I mean, I walked in and I said, is, I said, is that a rooster? But there's, you know, what, what, what's so special about these, uh, these birds that, uh, I mean, with the kids, I mean, what will they get out of uh, being around these, these types of birds at camp? Um, well, at camp they can learn lots of different things. They learn about the characteristics of birds in general, that they have hollow bones, that they use their feathers to keep themselves warm. Um, and they actually can see colors really, really well. They see them better than even we can. So, really? Yeah, so we can do some training demonstrations where they identify colors of their targets. Oh, that's so cool. And I can, you can pet them, right? Absolutely. You can go ahead and touch her. She's sleeping here. But this one's sleeping. Which one's asleep. this? Lindsay? This is Lindsay. Lindsay's asleep. Yeah. Who named them? You? Uh, we did. The education department named them after one of our Lindsay's, favorite TV Lindsay's. shows. I wish my son Cameron would be this calm. <laughs> he's a month old and he's not sleeping. No. And over here, this is who? This is Lucille. Lucille. What's going on? Like, what's up? <laughs> what's the problem today? <laughs> yeah. Do you like the road show? Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite part of the road show? <laughs> oh, I see. The buzz. You like the buzz when we do the buzz? No? You don't like that part? How about the weather? <laughs> oh, you like the weather. You like TJ. No, you don't like TJ. Do you like Michaela? Oh, you like Michaela. How about Catherine? Even better. Okay. <laughs> do you like to eat? Okay, we're going to go in the kitchen. Hey, nice to meet you. Not nice to meet you, apparently. Okay, thank you. Well, maybe it is. All right, thanks, ladies. For more information on signing up for Zoo Camp to enter a, uh, to win a week at the camp, just visit our website, website foxprovidence.com.